Uh, Thomas B says, great real talk, Linus. How's the lab building going? And would making your own crypto coin help fund your lab? Okay, Thomas, let's have a chat. Would, see, I don't want to use the word stealing because if people give it to you, it's not technically stealing. And the last thing I want is to use the wrong word to describe what is functionally the same. Would private yet again? <laughs> <laughs> Just use that as a catch-all term for like everything. Would relieving people of uh, their heavy purses oh, purse. make my purse heavier? Why, yes. <laughs> yes, it would, factually speaking. Would I be able to sleep at night knowing that I had executed a perfect rug pull? I was going to say, <laughs> what, you can reword this. Would rug pulling your own crypto coin help fund your life? <laughs> rug pulling my own crypto coin would probably help fund my own small island. <laughs> I mean, seriously, with our tech savvy audience and like... There's something a lot of people don't realize. We have a new section on the forum where the business team is posting potential sponsors and current sponsors talking about controversies, trying to make sure that we're uh, we're we're doing everything in our power to improve our due diligence on sponsorships is essentially what we're doing is we want to make sure that our sponsors reflect as well on us as we reflect on them. Um, and as as part of that process, uh, they've posted one particular sponsor to which someone replied, well, I really don't think this makes sense because LTT's audience is predominantly 14-year-olds. And I went... Well, that's wrong. Um, I, oh, man. It, where does the idea come from that as soon as people turn 15, they no longer have a sense of humor or like fun? Can we, can't we just be fun for, and adults can enjoy it too? What's wrong with that? And the funniest thing about it is a lot of the people who seem to have that perception are not 14 years old. I know that. Yeah. And it's like, why are you making this assumption that nobody else out there could be just like you? An IT professional that does enterprise stuff or software by day or just enjoys video games and wants a fun way to stay up to date on technology and enjoys our wacky projects and and, and just likes being along for the ride and thinks that we're kind of a cool <laughs> bunch of people. Like, is that so impossible to think of, to, to imagine, right? Um, I've actually been told on many occasions, like, I'm super into tech. Frankly, I, I know more about high hardcore IT tech than you do, Linus. And man, the book of things I don't know about IT would be a long one indeed. I don't know if it I don't know if it could fit on our petabyte project server. Um, so I'll I'll get messages from people being like, but that's not why I watch you. That stuff's boring. I do that stuff every day at work. Yeah. Why would you yeah? I just I just want to hear about like the cool consumer gadgets that like I, I don't have, I don't want to read a dry, boring article about. I want the fun version of it, and that's what we do. Like, like I, it's, it's amazing to me how many people watch our content and don't know what we do. I, I just, I love it. I, I love it, you guys. It's, it's great. I guess that means we're doing it really well. Lem Dog on Floatplane Chat said, "Bleep! I'm a 30 year old director at my company and converted my the entire company to framework laptops because Linus. I'm a, I'm pretty far from being 14 years old. <laughs> yeah, a little bit." <laughs> And to be clear, you know, that's why it's so important for us to disclose things like that. I am an investor in Framework and that Framework's not perfect. Um, you know, for me, and I, I love that, Lemdog, that is absolutely fantastic because what you did is knowing that there are going to be some pitfalls along the way, you put your money where your mouth is and you supported a company that has a vision that you stand for. That's freaking awesome. That's exactly what we do. That's exactly what we do. That's cool. Um, what am I supposed to be talking about right now? I don't. I don't even uh, remember. We, we got here from talking about. Right. So, could we rug pull, and would it be a rug pull of epic proportions? Yes, I do believe it would be. In the same way that years ago we could have partnered with a local developer to make a mobile game, and we could have just microtransactioned the crap out of it and i could probably own a yacht by this point but not as cool as bezos's no 
that one is but but a yacht but a small if you don't have to deconstruct a historical ridge a small bridge, yacht do you <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you don't if you don't have to deconstruct a historical bridge is it really a cool yacht no okay know. so it wouldn't have been cool yeah. but it would have been okay well, can i just call it a boat <laughs> I know, a nice boat. <laughs> okay. I'd have a, I'd, I could have a boat. So the point is that we've had opportunities where we could have cashed in on the trendy, cool way to make money. And we decided not to. We decided that we really like it better. Slow and steady wins the race. And we made the ultimate decision because we were going to do a coin at one point. We were like, yes, we are going to do it. And we learned more and reflected more and we decided not to do it um so we're not going to do that it is possible that some kind of blockchain something could make sense that was something that actually yeah. got brought up in the in the comments under that video about potential funding sources is hey don't go public because the reporting requirements are going to bury you under under accounting costs um and, and just just administrative overhead. But what if you guys did some kind of like blockchain based like smart smart contract thing for some kind of like commitment to like if you if you buy it for this value, then it will get paid out at X value as the company something dividend something. I don't know. They, they they explained it better. Uh, the point is blockchain that is a super interesting technology. There could we be could use for something. There like could be ways for us to to raise funds, but it would have to be in a way where we feel like people are getting something for their money, and that's a big part of why we have merch messages now instead of just doing. Um, I don't even remember what they're called anymore. Super chats, because a super chat, if I don't read it. Uh, or because I miss it because their feature is broken or if I forget or whatever the case may be, all you got was a colored bit of text. With a merch message, you're going to get a product in the mail. So even if we don't get to it or our answer isn't thorough enough for your liking or whatever the case may be, you haven't just thrown away your money, which I personally think is really, really important. So the only way that we would do any kind of fundraising activity would be if I can figure out what's in it for you. Yeah. And some people might say, you know what? In fact, I've seen a lot of people say this. All I need to be in it for me is to like own a chunk of LMG. And it, like where it's like, like and I've, I've I just like the stock. I've seen people compare it to owning owning real estate on the moon. You know, like it doesn't even need to be legally binding. Just a certificate of I own one share of LMG and it's like, yeah, fine, fine, fair enough, but instead of NFTs yeah. You should do like a tile wall in one of the buildings and people can like buy a tile and put whatever they want on there as long as it's appropriate. That's pretty cool. We had an idea like that. There Similar. was supposed to be a name wall when we moved. Do we have that list of names? Because we really do need to put it up at some point. It was like seven I years ago. Somewhere. Yeah. Okay, we should can can you can can you yeah, make a note to get me, that uh, list of names? 